In this video, I'd like to show you how to get a more interesting world for your car to drive in. So right now we have just this really boring plane, and let's see if we can uh, generate something that's a little more compelling. So the first thing you want to do is you want to um, turn off the plane here that we're driving on you select that over here and then click this this box this will enable or disable objects at the very top so we'll turn that off and we'll right click on world and we'll go to 3d object and terrain and that will make a, a terrain let's go into settings and let's make this a little bit bigger let's make it a thousand by a thousand move it over so that uh, the body of the terrain is in front of us. Okay, that looks good. And then we go to our car. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to select the terrain and we want to um, add some textures and add some trees. Now I've, uh, I've included some of the standard Unity assets in the um, in the latest uh, GitHub repo. So if you pull those down, you'll probably have those. If you don't, or you want to get your own, I can show you how to get um, assets from the Asset Store. So go to Window, Asset Store, and you can type standard, standard. enter and you'll want to start with these Unity standard assets. For you it's going to say uh, download. You will click that and wait for that to download and then it will pop up with a button that you'll get when I click import. Or you, you'll get a dialog rather. And the dialog is going to give you um, a whole bunch of stuff. It's going to we're going to turn off the uh, sample scenes. We don't want that. And I'm going to start with everything turned off. And then we'll select some things that we might want. So in a future one, we'll bring the uh, the Unity standard car in here, which I think is, is an improvement over mine. But for now, um, you can just select the environment. And you can bring in all these trees. Um, I've already done that for you if you if you're getting this data from the repo but um, if you want to come maybe there's an update or you want to get this for yourself um, this is one way and if and there's a lot of other tree assets if you just type in tree or terrain you'll you'll see there's a lot of options here so I'm going to close that and what we'll do is with this terrain selected go to the paintbrush here and we will add some textures. So we'll start with some sand. And let's just create three texture blocks here. We'll do grass. And let's do this grass rocky. Okay, now with those three things uh, selected, clicking on them makes uh, makes that active and then going to scene you can see you have this kind of blue um, highlight that shows you where you will be able to paint so you can spend some time uh, painting that but let's first give okay now we have textures let's see if we can make our terrain look a little more interesting so there's two ways to do that one is by hand you can click the terrain and then this first button here is the height so you can come in here and do some terrible painting let's turn that uh, opacity down brush size up give it some different uh, texture so that's one way to give your thinking you can see pretty quickly that you'll create something that looks uh, more interesting than plane but what we'd like to do is uh, generate some to start so the way I'm going to do that 
is select this train and go to inspector, add component, and I've included uh, the free terrain toolkit. This is online and you can download it yourself, but I've already included it. You add this uh, component to your terrain and that is going to help our world builder to do a couple things for us. So in our controller, select world builder. You can see it's got a terrain slot and it's got a, a terrain component reference that we need to initialize. So we dra drag the terrain first here and it's going to get the terrain instance. And now when we drag it here, it's going to get the uh, terrain toolkit that's attached to that terrain and initialize those two references. Now we can look, there's a couple buttons here that we can check, or check boxes rather. We can flatten the terrain. Uh, so this is going to, these operations are going to occur each time I hit start. It will flatten the terrain. Uh, we can have it generate some terrain and we can have it flatten around the road. And let's try that. Okay, that's generated some terrain for us and it's flattened right around the road. The terrain's a little bit too high so we can try again until we get something that we like. The other thing that we need to do is uh, by default our path is going to be different every single time and what we'd like to do is freeze the path in one state that we like and uh, and then kind of build things up around it. So if you check this box, if you go to path manager there's a checkbox that says same random path and then it uses this random seed so you can change this value until you get a uh, road that you like. So we'll hit start and I can look at this road and I can say okay this this looks okay I'm, I'm fine with this road and now as long as that's uh, checked I'll continue to get that same road. And if we like this terrain, we want to go into World Builder and let's get out of the start mode. And then let's, let's uncheck these boxes. So we, if we think this terrain is fine, then uncheck this. If you leave this checked, then each time you hit start, it's going to wipe out any hand tweaks that you've done and regenerate it. So once you get terrain that is nice enough to start then you want to uncheck all these boxes and make sure you do so while you're not in this active mode. If you're in this active mode anything that you do here is uh, forgotten once you get out of, out of this mode. So that can be a point of frustration when you're getting started. The only thing that it does keep interestingly enough it is terrain edits and we're going to do some terrain editing. So let's go to terrain and let's check this smooth height. Let's make this brush a little bit bigger and let's make it pretty strong and let's smooth out some of these cliffs that we have here. The other thing you can do is you can raise and lower and if you hold shift and you click that will lower things and if you just click it will raise things. So let's turn the opacity down and make things a little more interesting. Add some texture in there. And it doesn't take long, just spend a little time. And then the next thing we can do is uh, paint it a little bit. So let's make our brush size pretty big and add some details around the road. And if you like, I'm painting right now uh, off, but if you want, you can start the game and then pause it and then it will create the road for you and you can kind of see see what you're doing a little bit more and you can see that some of the stuff that I did raised the uh, height around the road 
can go in here into the raise and lower terrain. Actually, let's do something like that. Take that brush size down and hold the shift key. And that will push the terrain down right around your road. And select that cliff texture and give some Give these cliffs, make them look a little more rocky. Just spend a little time. It doesn't take a lot of time. And now we'll put some trees in. So you select this tree, and then edit trees, add tree. And we'll start with this broadleaf mobile. Just take the brush size down, tree density down, and the tree size down. And now wherever you click, it will spawn some trees. There's a lot of different kinds of trees in the standard pack. There's also a lot of um, trees that you can get in the um, asset store that are pretty nice. If you just search for tree, you'll find something in there. So we go back to the game and we can see that now we have a little bit more compelling world to work with. So you can kind of um, keep going with that, spend a little time uh, editing the terrain, a little time painting. You can see I didn't really work very carefully at all. I just kind of randomly plopped um, some textures down. And, and it, uh, I think that's enough to, to move you in the direction of uh, a more interesting world. If you want, you can get some buildings. Uh, there's some building packs on the Unity Asset Store and start livening up your world a little bit. Uh, I hope that helps.